the Legacy series specifically, uh, a lot of fans rightfully felt cut short by by Atlantis ending the way that it did. Yeah. The Wraith were left um, unresolved. I think I think that that was that that was really the big thing that that's floating on out there is that we have we have the ancients perhaps greatest adversary at least the greatest adversary in the Pegasus galaxy are are still left um, uh, uh, wreaking havoc on Pegasus yeah. worlds, and yeah. you guys took. A, a direction so tell us about the process that you went through to convince mgm to tell a post atlantis story wow yeah season so, five post atlantis season five story exactly so uh joe uh graham came to me and said we've got she'd written a couple of books for us and she's a fantastic writer another fan fiction writer mm -hmm. Um, and she came to me and she said, well, I've got this idea. We're thinking of doing it as fan fiction, but, you know, I don't, you know, if it would be amazing if you could get MGM to agree to do it. And she sort of ran it past me, this idea of a six book series, um, you know, a, a virtual season six is how she pitched it to me. And I was like, yes, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. um, so... <sighs> Well, we went to we went to MGM and we, you know, we basically pitched it as that. You know, the show was off the air. There was no risk that um, we were going to tread on any toes in terms of, um, you know, what was going to happen next by that point. Had um, the the plug on Stargate Extinction already been pulled at this point? I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. So that DVD uh, yeah. movie was not going to happen. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. So uh, you know. It, we, yeah, we, we just went to them and said, we've got this great idea and, and they knew the, the authors already. And um, to our surprise, they were like, okay, well, you know, go for it. So we did. Oh. And uh, it's honestly just uh, it's an amazing series. I, I, I can't believe what a great job, you know, well, I can because I knew they were. Yeah, great. absolutely. Joe Graham, Melissa Scott, and Amy Griswold. I mean, the three of them, Melissa Scott, any fat science fiction fan will know, is a, you know, extremely well-respected author in her own right, and so is Joe Graham. Um, and they, uh, so they write their own original fiction. So it, we, we were so we were blessed to have them working with us on, on the series, the, the legacy series. And um, I think anyone who's, who's read it will agree that it's just, you know, it's superb science fiction writing. What um, what's the what's the uh, the 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 mile mile up view, looking down on it premise of this to entice the Atlantis fans, right. uh, so, who who were robbed of a season six. Right. Yeah. So season five ends with Atlantis in the harbor at San Francisco. Um, then the race showing control in the Pegasus Galaxy, um, and basically. The legacy series picks up Atlantis and it sends it back to Pegasus uh, with the team on board. Various political shenanigans allow that to happen. Um, and on the way, uh, uh, an incident happens which strands it in a, in a different bit of the galaxy, not where they were intending to go. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but. Uh, something happens to one of our favorite characters, um, <laughs> <laughs> which, you know, changes him quite a lot. And um, really is the first time in one of the books where we, we've changed something from canon. Um, and it's a, it was a pretty uh, big step and we were pretty surprised that MGM allowed us to do it. Um, You're talking about something that happens to Rodney? To Rodney, yeah. Okay. To Rodney. I don't know whether to say it or not. It's I, it's, a... I mean, I, I have not read them and I know it. So it's out there okay. on the web. Okay. So. Well, okay. So Rodney gets, he gets uh, turned into a wraith for a period of time. <laughs> and through, through his point of view, we learn about the wraith. So he is in a hive. Um, he is, he, know, he knows uh, Guide as 
Todd, as he is called in the Atlantis, but of course the 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 race don't call themselves that. They have their own names for each other. Yeah, you had to do something for the novels. You had to distinguish them somehow. Well, yes, exactly. And it's not like they're just going to call each other, you know, you over there. So they, <laughs> they must have some kind of name. Um, and the, the the authors came up with this idea that because they're a telepathic race, they would they would consider themselves it, it, as sort of their, their names are kind of a, their personality or how how they are. So R- Rodney is, is known as a Quicksilver, which I think is a great name for his brain, how he works. Sort of, you know, <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, so we, we explore the race culture through Rodney's experience. Um, he doesn't realize that he doesn't realize that he's a uh, human. Uh, he thinks he's a race for a time being, or eventually the truth all kind of comes out. Um, meanwhile, the rest of the team are off um, doing battle. There's a new race queen who, who um, is a, a new enemy, but also a potential avenue to peace with the race. Um, Interesting. All right. Towards the end, so it's a, it's a six book arc that starts that, that tells the whole story, which essentially is a season's worth of of, of story in, in six books, and then there is some other books set afterwards, um, which bring in a couple of other storylines and some novels and novellas set in that universe, the legacy universe, which tie into it, but but which are standalone books. So there's really a whole there's a whole you know. Season, well, it's more than a season. There's a whole sort of world, the legacy universe, which, mm, which um, has I'll been created. Yeah. yeah, and they are, they're just good. They're just really good books. <laughs> and I understand you play with the, the, the Vanir, the, the Pegasus Asgard as well. Yep, yep. They crop up in, 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 in the two of the sort of coda books. Um, they come into it. Um, and we bring back, we bring back some characters who, met their demise in Atlantis, but All right. we bring them back. So are you looking to continue the this this series um well, further? I or would at least be keep open the door open? To, yes. I would be open to any new books in the legacy series. Um that, that's really up to the authors whether they have the time because that, like I said, they're both um uh, Melissa and Joe primary sort of authors around it amy also writes with them um but they they write their own stuff as mm. well so you know it's 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 there if they come to me and say and melissa or some you know i think melissa has got some other ideas that she may if she has time she may be interested in doing but um at the moment there's nothing in the works but i would love for anything yeah i would I would be very happy to see anything else in the legacy universe. Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side.